I've been impatiently waiting, like seriously. I'm super excited about the package that I finally got today. Uh, and today we're gonna do an unboxing. I ordered paints from Beam Paints uh, because I was so fascinated by her story and I learned about it through the YouTube channel In Liquid Color. And I just was so fascinated because this is an indigenous run company by a woman who lives in Canada and she makes her own paints and she is plastic free. She even uses paper tape as you can see. So I, I just found that really intriguing and I was really curious to see her, her pigments and how pigmented they are. It actually has kind of inspired me to make my own pigments and so I just couldn't wait. I mean like I have been checking the mailbox every day just chomping at the bit to get at these paints. So without further ado, let's open this package. I am so excited to open these. Ah, uh, and look at this great sticker she has. It's a paper sticker. So cool. Okay. Oh boy, it's like Christmas. So a couple of things. I joined her team beam, which she has a recurring um, monthly paint that she sends you. And um, so I joined that and then I also ordered some paints, paint stones from her uh, of colors that I was intrigued by. And look at this, she has given me a cool brush and I love those little brushes like that. Um, and she's written a note to me What's so cool is um, this company is run by an indigenous female. She is part of a family of artists and she uses uh, local honey and tree sap and hand gathered and sifted uh, Manitoulin stone and the finest light fast pigments. So I'm super excited because you can see all of her packaging is paper. Um, I think it's just super cool. Oh boy. So this is her paint that she's uh, used on the outside here. And I got a little travel card of her gouache paint. I wanted to see how her gouache paint was. Um, I'm kind of, I might be a little interested in working with gouache, so I'm kind of excited about that. Oh, this is so cool. So this, ooh, ooh, ooh. that guy goes there. This is really cool because she also creates these little palettes um, and loads them with paint and it's all natural. I mean, that is just the coolest thing, is it not? These are samples. Um, this is a Mayan four birch block and it has Mayan indigo gold, green, yellow, and red. Isn't this ingenious? I just love this design, how she uses something natural that's on her property and repurposes it to use it with paint. So cool. So this must be my order. See, and just look how all everything is packaged. This is wax paper that she's made herself. You could even use, I think you could even use this wax paper for a little palette if you needed to. So see how she brings these? Oh, they smell delicious. See, I love that. So these are her paint stones. They are wrapped also in wax paper and secured with this little wax tie. And her bigger palettes, um, they fit into her bigger wooden pallets, I believe. Just so cool. Oh, that smells so good. I'm really excited about this red because I have a hard time finding a decent red. So, we are going to test those out. And this is milkweed. 
Uh, this was part of the mystery pack as well, I think. So I'm so excited. And I'm totally going to keep this. Let's see, she has it screen printed with her logo. That's so cool. Okay, so we're going to get to painting. Like most handmade paints, you want to put a little drop of water in there and let it soak in so you can really get the paint activated. And here I'm using a little pipette to wet all of these paints. So here is the Mayan yellow. Um, it's a really nice, pretty yellow color. Next we have this Mayan red, which is a nice dark, deep red. I really like this Mayan green color. I may have to add this to my collection. And of course, our indigo, which I really love that dark, deep indigo as well. This red is the summer sun red. And here you can see the indigo. This is actually indigo with gold flecks in it. Next, we are looking at the gold pigment. And this is one that you really need to get some water in there. And it's really gorgeous when you look at it on the palette. It's just so gold. And here we have milkweed, which is a gouache. And then lastly, I'm swatching these colors that are her gouache colors to see how I like them. And I'm loving the consistency of these guys. Her colors are very rich and intense. And I guess I didn't know what to expect, but um, they exceeded my expectations as far as pigmentation goes. And I'm loving, love, loving this red color. Next, we're going to do a little butterfly painting just to test out some of these colors in a real world kind of setting. So I'm using the indigo gold. gold and I'm gonna be mixing a brown from the Little Birch palette. Once I'm satisfied with that, it's time to start painting. So here for my butterfly, I'm using a little bit of the indigo and the Mayan green, just painting in the wings here. So what's nice about this paint is it lifts pretty easily and it darkens up really nicely. I really am a fan of this gold color. It just is gorgeous and it is really fun to embellish with. And this indigo gets nice and dark if it needs to. I think here I'm using indigo gold. So it has these little flecks of gold in there, but not too much. So it's really kind of surprising. Using her little brush that she included in my kit and does a nice job of some fine lining.
And you can see here how dark that end gold gets. And I'm a big fan of Payne's Gray and some of these blue colors. So this one is pretty awesome. And of course I had to add a little bit of red um, in the lower wings there and some gold embellishments here just to make it a little fun. Overall, I'm a big fan of these paints. They're gorgeous. They work really nicely. They have lots of pigmentation. And I love knowing that I'm supporting someone who is just like me, a small business. And um, I really appreciate the plastic-free packaging. It inspires me to be more conscious and conscientious of packaging and plastic use. So if you're looking for some great paints and you want to support a small business as well as an indigenous business, uh, check out Beam Paints. Of course, I'm not paid or sponsored by this company. I bought all these paints with my own money, and this is just my opinion. So go check them out, and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.